Living TV coming to you tonight. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great day with everything going on in the world today, every craziness that's going on. Let's talk about tips for anxiety from a psychologist's point of view. So you need to learn about your nervous system. If your nervous system is dysregulated, you are going to have anxiety. If your cortisol levels, if you have post-traumatic stress, and you have not processed the trauma. Those high cortisol levels will make you feel like you need to get out of the body. I have felt so anxious before. I literally shake. And I'm like, Lord, if I could run out of my skin, I would. Um, I just want to give you some tips to really try to handle this without Xanax or benzos or opiates or things like that or alcohol. met someone today. He was drinking. He was in pain. I was like, <laughs> you're in pain because you're drinking. So... Learn about your nervous system, get it regulated, specifically your individual stress responses. If you're not managing your stress, if you're not walking, exercising, meditation, doing something to handle the stress, it will manifest as disease in the body and the brain. Daily practice of nervous system regulation skills, well, what are those? Tapping, grounding rolling back and forth, just rocking, somatic exercises to get back into the body, praying, journaling, pen to paper helps balance the brain, do art therapy, assign word descriptions. If you had a trauma, it's called ITR therapy. I am certified in that. I'm about to open a practice working with uh, its instinctual response and teaching people how to process and get their nervous system regulated. Remind yourself this feeling will pass. You're like, okay, I know this is going to be okay. I just have to breathe. I just have to kind of walk. I have to ground, and it will pass. And you can reverse nostril breathing is huge, especially if you're being gain stalked to interrupt the neural monitoring with music in the background. You can interrupt that. Establish an AM and PM routine. You know, if you really want to do something right, get up at 6 o'clock in the morning when sunrise comes, or 5, 45, wherever you are, sun gaze for about 10 minutes. Uh, your sun, your eyes are the receptors, and your body is electric, ground and charge with the sun, and also at sunset, and you will get in a circadian rhythm. All right, developing a cognitive coping strategy, talk therapy, journaling, finding a friend that you trust, and be very careful. Be very careful who you share your traumas with in life or your personal information because if they're narcissists, they're going to use that against you. I promise you. They're going to blackmail you, use it against you, um, gaslight you with it. Develop a, we talked about somatic. That's the rocking and it's doing your bodies and different stretching and really grounding and getting back out of disassociation back into the body. So there's a somatic coping strategy, movement, body scan, breathing, prioritize sleep, reduce substance use, i.e., what we talked about, alcohol, it's just full of sugar. It's going to make you more anxious because it's all sugar, feeding the parasites, caffeine, and if you smoke to calm down, <laughs> nicotine is not what you need if you have anxiety, drugs. You know, a lot of people, I have a lot of people that do CBD or pot just to be able to handle their nervous system dysregulation. Exercise is the best way to get your nervous system back in. Or Pilates. I love, I've met someone that has introduced me to Pilates, and it has opened my world up and my spine. Uh, build at your capacity for stillness. Do you know how to just be present? Do you know how to get out in the sunshine and feel the wind, feel the warmth of the sun, hear the birds? Listen to the dogs bark. Listen to the children play, laugh. That's getting in your ability to just be still. It's huge. So I agree with the psychologist tips. As a naturopathic person, again, grounding is imperative. Hydration and movement is imperative. Get off of the pharmacological agents and get back into herbs and essential oils. Frequency, quantum healing is really big, scalar energies, um, rife therapies, and learning that the body is electrical and enhancing your aura, your biofield. These 5Gs are attacking, these frequencies are attacking your body's natural, your, your biofield is your immune system. Okay? You need to research. I'm about to do some videos on what, the, what your aura, what your biofield is it's about a three foot radius some people are six foot depends on how much your aura how much power you have 
You need to learn to protect that, boost that, and enhance that. You can heal. Uh, you really can. You can handle this anxiety, limit TV, limit your exposure to negative things. You know, neuroplastically, you can rewire the brain, do something, new habits. Every day, get up and walk. Make that routine. Get up and stretch. Get up and dance. Get up and organize. Declutter your house. If you got toxic people in your life, get them out. Get them away from you. Okay? It's huge. All right? You can heal, guys. You really can. Eden's Living TV. You can heal one bite, one thought, one prayer at a time. Y'all have a great night.